What's up guys, uh, this will be a very quick video on how to use Trojan Bot on Solana. I just thought I would make a long form video instead of a short, as there's only so much you can explain in a short video. So, to get started, you want to go to this here, Manalos at Trojan Bot, or you can click the link in the description of this video and use my link. It's an affiliate link, so it'll be transparent, but you will get... 10% off trading fees if you use my link, which actually adds up if you're trading constantly. So once you've clicked here, you want to click on start and it'll bring up your dashboard. So it'll show your contract address and your balance. And we need to do a few settings to optimize this bot so that we can make the most amount of money. So the first thing we want to do is go into settings over here. And here you can select either fast or turbo. Now, these are fees. As you can see here, it says set your preferred priority fee to decrease likelihood of failed transactions. So I'd recommend fast if the coins been out for more than four hours. But if you're trading coins less than four hours, I'd, I'd genuinely pick turbo because the volume and your transactions might fail and you might get in at a wrong price. So yeah, next we want to do is buy settings. Now here you can select your custom amounts. So I have it 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So when you set these up, you can actually just click one of these buttons and you'll be able to instantly buy the token. You don't need to confirm or anything. And we want to have the slippage at 5% as it's a healthy balance. You don't want it too high because then you're going to lose money. But if you have it too low, then you're going to get failed transactions and you'll get errors saying exceed the slippage and all that. So this is all preference, but slippage, keep at 5%. Now on the sell settings, you want to do the same as well. Put the sell slippage to 5%. I, I've tested different numbers on 5.5 five for me works the best. Now you can also test yourself, but I feel like these are the best settings for me. And then these are the amounts. So you can, you can set two amounts only. So I have 50% and 100%. So if I click this button, I'll sell 50% of my tokens. And if I click this button, it'll sell 100% of my tokens. So that's the way I like to have it set up anyway. Next, we have MEV Protect. So you can enable it for buys and sells. And that basically enables the setting to send transactions privately and avoid getting front run or sandwiched. Now, I would recommend having this on, but there will be a fee associated with it. So I actually have it off, but MEV protection is good. It's, it prevents sandwiching and yeah, this is personal preference, but as a new trader, I would have MEV protection on. I think the fees are like 0 0.0075 Solana per trade. So per buy and sell. So yeah, it's up to you, but for a new trader, I would recommend you keep those two on. Auto buy, auto sell. I don't use these, but basically it works as you paste in a contract here and automatically buys. You don't have to confirm anything. It just instantly sweeps the liquidity. So I don't use auto buy or to sell. Confirm trades is basically you'll need to confirm your intention to swap by clicking the buy or sell button. I usually actually have this off. I just want to get in as fast as possible. Profit and loss values is good if you want to see how much you've lost on a coin or gained on a coin. So I'd recommend keeping this on. Chart previews basically shows when you paste in a con contract address, it will show you a chart with it. I don't like this as I usually look at the chart on deck screener. So I feel like it's kind of useless for me. It just clutters the telegram bot and everything. So yeah, so let's see uh, how it works. So if we just get a random address here from my soul scanner and go back into the bot, if we click on buy, and we paste in the token symbol or address. It will automatically pull up this now. Obviously, I don't have any Solana in this wallet, but it'll show your balance, which is empty, the price, liquidity, market cap, and obviously the change in the last 30 and 24 hours. Now, it shows that it's renounced. If it's burned and renounced, it'll show burned here and it'll also say not rogued. So, as you can see, these are the settings we put in. So, I see 0 0.12345. Now, as soon as I click on this, it will um, buy the coin. So that's the one I was talking about where it was saying to confirm or not to confirm. 
but yeah you can also set the custom slippage here but as soon as you click any of these buttons you'll buy into the coin and then once you buy in you can click on positions and then you can manage it there where you can uh, sell your token if you want so if you do have any questions just leave it in the comments below and i will answer any questions you may have but yeah i thought i'd make a little quick video on how to uh just how to use the bot right thank you bye